Hi, this is Jill Varvel with Dixie Cast. Today I am in Lincoln, Arkansas at the Apple Festival. Lincoln is in Washington County and uh, I'm going to take a walk around and show you some really cool tractors and, and along with the rest of the festival. The Arkansas Apple Festival opens the first Friday in October and continues throughout the weekend. It includes a parade on Saturday morning, a pageant, events like an apple core throwing contest, music, and at least 80 vendors. The city sponsors the most popular spot each year. Freshly sliced apples handed out for free by volunteers for visitors to enjoy. It's estimated that about 100 bushels of apple slices are given away during the three days. I noticed license plates from outside of Arkansas, including nearby Oklahoma and Missouri, which makes sense for a festival that's been ongoing since 1976 to attract out-of-state visitors. Pets on leash are welcome, and apparently goats are no exception to the rule. Another tent provides free samples of apple cider, along with cider that can be purchased. The festival reportedly sells about 500 to 600 gallons of apple cider during the three days the festival occurs. Food vendors included funnel cakes, corn dogs, nachos, chicken strips, smoked turkey legs, tacos, ice cream, fresh pork rinds, and pulled pork sandwiches. The Lincoln Kiwanis Club served beans and cornbread, chili and apple dumplings, while proceeds went to help with college scholarships. Between Junk Ranch, which occurs the same weekend as the Apple Festival, I couldn't help but notice how many people were wearing a t-shirt with a message. Here's a sampling of some of the sassy t-shirts that made me smile. The parade, which I regrettably missed, showcases some of the old tractors driven by local farmers, families, and people who live in this delightful community. From what I could see from the online pictures, it looks like the route encircles the square, making it easy and convenient to enjoy the parade. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and thank you for joining DixieCast, The Sound of the South. Please come back next time for another heaping helping of Southern comfort for your ears. Mm -hmm.